Welcome everyone. This is a special edition of Rock Talk. I'm your host, Ali Sturm, and today we're talking to Rockies General Manager Jeff Breidich, who is in the winter meetings in San Diego. Jeff, how are you doing? How have the first two days of winter meetings been? Very quick. <laughs> um, we're doing well, but it's been, uh, as usual, winter meetings is a uh, kind of a flyby experience, and it, uh, it's, it's four or five days that goes very quickly. So, quick but good. Can you compare last year some winter meetings to this year now that you are general manager? Yeah, I think the, that really has a lot to do with, visually or personally, has a lot to do with the job that I had last year versus the job, obviously, that I have this year. Um, you know, individually, for me, it was farm director jobs a lot different at the winter meetings than, than the GM. You're, you're focused on, as the farm director, you're focused on purely, purely minor league type issues. You're meeting with all of your affiliates um, and you are um, involved. You know, a lot of times it's a different hotel um, as it is this year in San Diego. So there is a little bit of separation there. Um, you know, this year as the GM, it's, it's very much involved in the major league process. And so we are here with our, our team of um, uh, front office members and scouts and, and other people and trying to make good decisions or, or see what's out there for us uh, to somehow improve ourselves. Um, and it's all happening here in one of the suites in the hotel. And then you spoke about interacting with, obviously, other teams. What is your key to establishing relationships with other general managers this week? Well, it's a, a continuation of that process. I think this week is, um, it's, you know, fortunately for me, uh, there's a lot, especially some of the younger GMs, um, you know, I've, I've been in the, in the industry long enough now, almost 15 years, that I've had some sort of relationship with a lot of these people prior to, um, you know, me becoming the GM. So that has helped in, in the type of communication. But a lot of times in, in this week, even though it is a fast four or five days, um, you know, you get to you get to see these people face to face, which can really um, give you insight into how they communicate, um, how I need to communicate with them. Um, and if you're trying to get some things done, you know, face to face contact can often expedite that um, that process. So, so far, it's been good. And then for our fans that don't know, can you ex or explain the environment of the winter meetings? It's I understand it's in a hotel. Is everybody more or less in rooms, suites, lobby area, or what is it like? All the above. <laughs> so uh, it's different um, based on where it is. You know, San Diego, in, in terms of the hotels, has a different setup than does you know places that like Nashville or Dallas or Orlando. Um, but this year in San Diego, there's a, a major league hotel, which is the Hyatt right here on the water. And then there's the minor league hotel is the Hilton, which is probably about a mile down the street on the water. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I haven't seen the Hilton yet, but uh, in terms of the major league process, each team has its own suite. Um, they kind of cluster teams. Uh, they, each team has a suite, and then the, the, the other rooms are kind of clustered around that suite so that teams can, can kind of stay together. Um, you know, you can ask a team to come to your suite and have a meeting. Same thing with agents. You know, agents are, are milling about and want to talk about their free agent players or, or whatever. And so they come up and, and you can have conversations with them. Lobby usually gets hopping. Uh, it's hopping all day. Uh, a lot of times with job seekers, young people trying to get to get into the game. Um, at night, it's kind of when or at lunchtime is when team officials descend either on down on the lobby and have, you know, just kind of random conversations or. Um, you know, you see people when you're out eating, there are kind of limited uh, selections where we're at in terms of restaurants around the hotel. So it's, um, it's kind of a combination. You know, there's a lot of sitting around in the suite talking in terms of the group that's here. Uh, you know, we don't get to be here um, for extended periods of time during other parts of the year. So we're taking, taking our opportunity here to, to talk as a larger group. And uh, it means a lot of time spent in a, in a hotel room. But that's basically what the that's what comes with the winter meetings. And then, Jeff, in your opinion, how many of the trade rumors surrounding this week have validity? You want a percentage? <laughs> uh, the percent's probably very low. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's um, not just with the Rockies. I, you know, there's yeah, one element of the winter meetings that I didn't yet mention is the media. The the Nash, there's national media. There's 
uh, local media from from that's responsible for all 30 teams that descend on this uh, the city just like the teams do and so a lot of the time the media just kind of mill about in the lobbies and they throw stuff up stuff up against the wall let's see if it sticks and there's you know oftentimes there's absolutely no validity and it's just a, a brainstorm session by media members in a lot you know hotel lobby so uh, it's tough to take. Uh, it's tough to take things seriously. Uh, the, the better information comes directly from from team officials, and that's what uh, that's what we try to go off of. And then, what are your goals this week specifically for our 2015 Rockies team? Uh, the goal is, as kind of what we've talked about before, uh, pitching and seeing if we can uh, if there are upgrades to our pitching um, as the. Uh, more and more of, of the free agent uh, bats, the free agent position players have, have signed with teams. Uh, there's been growing interest in in some of our position players and some of the, the bats that we have in our lineup. Um, you know, that doesn't mean that, that we're interested in trading those guys, um, but, uh, you know, we're here, so we're going to listen. And um, if, if there are creative ways where we can potentially upgrade um, our pitching through some of that, we're going to listen and, um, you know, with our eyes and our ears open. But uh, really, thus far, from both a uh, conversation with team and from conversation with agents, it's been centered around pitching. And then this next part is called the Fast Five. So I'm asking you five questions pretty fast. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Ready? Are you ready? Ready. Okay, great. Never been. What is your favorite no. food? Pasta. Ice fishing or fly fishing? Fly fishing. And if you didn't attend Harvard, where would you have gone to college? Uh, nowhere. It was Harvard or nothing. <laughs> Harvard or nothing. All right. And then who would play you in a movie of your life? Of my life? Oh, man. Probably my father, since we're clones. <laughs> uh, we look the same. We talk the same. It's like if you call us on the phone, it's like you don't know who you're talking to. So probably my dad. And he was a Harvard grad, too. So there you go. And then if you had a theme song, what would it be? <laughs> I know, I'm giving you tough questions. <laughs> a theme song? Yes. Um, Your own personal walkout. <laughs> my own personal walkout. You know, I, probably something by Metallica or something to get, me, get the, the blood boiling a little bit. Metallica, Metallica, Rage Against the Machine, something like that. Maybe jump around. I'm a Wisconsin Badgers fan, so it might be jump around. If you know the Wisconsin Badgers. <laughs> Fourth quarter, Wisconsin Badgers football, yeah. jump around. Well, there you go, jump around. You guys heard it first. Thank you, Jeff, so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you. Everyone, that was Jeff Breidich, and this was your latest edition of Rock Talk. Make sure you stick around for more Rock Talk coming soon.